we seem to be moving away from using this physical reality, hard science and mathematics, as the basis for our social constructs, our rules, our roles, and our standards. And we're instead supposed to base them all on people's feelings, which can change all the time. It seems to primarily show itself in the West. I'm not sure how that's supposed to pan out. I mean, what is the end goal? It doesn't seem to be having very good results as it is. So why would we want to continue down that path? I mean, for instance, are people going to lose their ability to describe their tastes in really just about anything in the future? Will fashion no longer have anything to do with looking good? Since, I mean, we're not basing what looks good on anything other than whether someone's feelings were hurt about something. I mean, there's a lot of study as to what can make someone look good. It's almost like a science. I mean, it's a bit of a stretch to call it science, a, some sort of a science, but there's a lot of study that's went into this. You know, symmetry, for instance. Certain kinds of lines are complementary in, in an outfit. You, you, you know, just even the, the element of, you know, oh, you, you do a V and it, and it, and it you know, creates a certain kind of image, right? A good-fitting suit that doesn't have really bright colors is usually complementary. A dress is usually complementary towards the curves of a female body. But now fashion is turning into pure self-expression. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that particularly, but sometimes it has hideous results and we're not supposed to say anything. And the same thing seems to apply in other areas. In comedy, will people lose their ability to make fun of anything or anyone except for straight white Christian Republicans? And then things that aren't actually that funny, like criticizing the shapes of remote controls and toilets. Will we completely lose our ability to banter? Will we lose our ability to tell stories in entertaining ways? Since we would always have to be thinking about the feelings and diverse lived experiences of the potential audience. I mean, that's obviously what's happened with movies. Our desire to be nurturing to people's feelings is not having good results. Good intentions, for sure. But it's destroying our creativity and vibrance. It's also destroying our large cities across the country. There needs to be a balance between a masculine approach and a feminine approach. Yeah, we were too masculine in the past, but we're too feminine now. Unfortunately, I don't see that truly balancing itself out anytime soon. The results from the feminine approaches are going to become too glaring, and I think the pendulum is going to swing hard the other way with a lot of anger behind it. But who knows? We'll just have to see, right?